get a sleep on. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today, we're taking things to the next level, literally. We're about to explore the tallest actors in the world, towering figures who have made their mark not only with their talent, but also with their impressive physiques on and off screen. Without further ado, let's get started. Dwayne The Rock Johnson Standing at 6 feet 4 inches, Dwayne Johnson's journey to stardom began long before his wrestling fame. Before becoming The Rock, he was a powerhouse on the football field, helping the Miami Hurricanes secure a national championship. Though he was briefly drafted into the Canadian Football League, he was cut just two months into the season. Unsure of his next move, Johnson found a new calling when WWE came knocking. By 2000, he dominated the wrestling world, claiming victory at his first Royal Rumble. In 2002, Johnson made a major leap to Hollywood, setting a record by earning $5.5 million for his debut lead role in The Scorpion King, the highest salary ever for an actor's first starring role. From there, The Rock didn't just enter Hollywood, he conquered it. By 2017, he had become the industry's highest earner, solidifying his place among the top action stars. Among his many roles, Johnson is perhaps best known for his portrayal of the tough and determined Luke Hobbs, a diplomatic security service officer in the Fast and Furious franchise. His presence in the last three installments has helped cement the series' status as a global phenomenon. If you want to explore the journey with me, please leave number one and watch this video until the end. Interesting things are waiting for you in the video. Jeff Goldblum, standing at a towering 6 feet 5 inches, Jeff Goldblum made his film debut as a gang thug in the controversial 1974 Charles Bronson movie Death Wish. While his early career saw him taking on smaller roles, including parts in Annie Hall and Invasion of the Body Snatchers, his talent was undeniable. In 1981, Goldblum received a Genie Award nomination for his performance as Aldo Gehring in Threshold, marking a significant moment in his early career. By 1986, Goldblum's career hit a major milestone when he won a Saturn Award for his unforgettable performance in David Cronenberg's The Fly. His unique blend of charm and quirkiness stood out, making him a distinctive presence in Hollywood. Fun fact, in 1989 he starred in a film aptly titled The Tall Guy, adding a bit of humor to his already eclectic filmography. It was in 1993 that Goldblum captured the hearts of audiences worldwide with his portrayal of the charismatic scientist Dr. Ian Malcolm in Steven Spielberg's Jurassic Park. Just three years later, he cemented his status as a blockbuster star with Independence Day, becoming one of the highest-grossing actors of the 1990s. Joe Manganiello, standing at a towering 6 feet 5 inches and weighing in at 236 lbs of pure muscle, Joe Manganiello certainly doesn't fit the description of his high school self when he claims to have been a skinny guy with Coke bottle glasses and invisible to girls. After graduating from the prestigious Carnegie Mellon Acting School, he began landing guest roles, including a memorable turn as Peter Parker's high school bully, Flash Thompson, in Spider-Man 2 and Spider-Man 3. Despite his imposing stature, Manganiello has said his height actually made it challenging to land roles. With most leading men being much shorter, casting directors often passed him over 
unless he was playing a bodyguard or bouncer. However, everything changed in 2010 when he appeared in True Blood. Audiences couldn't help but take notice of Manganiello's commanding presence and charisma, propelling him into the spotlight. His breakthrough led to even bigger opportunities, and he solidified his star power by starring as a stripper alongside Channing Tatum in both Magic Mike films. In 2014, Manganiello's life took another glamorous turn when he married actress Sofia Vergara. What's better than starting the day with a delicious cup of tea and watching this fascinating video together? Peter Mayhew. Standing at an incredible 7 feet 3 inches, Peter Mayhew may not have been easily recognized on the street, but he earned his place in cinematic history by portraying one of the most beloved characters of all time, Chewbacca. Mayhew's journey to stardom began in an unexpected way. Producers of Sinbad and the Eye of the Tiger discovered him after reading a newspaper article about people with unusually large feet. Impressed by his towering stature, they cast him as a minotaur in 1977. That same year, George Lucas was casting for Star Wars. Initially, bodybuilder David Prowse was considered for the role of Chewbacca, but Prowse ultimately took on the role of Darth Vader instead. Lucas, still on the hunt for his Chewie, found Mayhew, who was working as a hospital orderly at the time. The connection was instant, and Mayhew landed the role that would define his career. Mayhew's portrayal of the tough yet lovable Chewbacca spanned five Star Wars films, where he brought heart and warmth to the hulking furball, making the Wookiee an iconic and cherished character in the franchise. His performance, though mostly silent, left a lasting impact on generations of fans. James Cromwell, towering at six feet six inches, is the son of two actors, which set the stage for his entry into the entertainment world. He made his screen debut with a guest appearance on The Rockford Files, and shortly after, landed a recurring role as Stretch Cunningham on All in the Family. For the next decade, Cromwell took on a series of modest roles across both television and film, steadily building his career. In 1985, Cromwell's breakthrough came with his performance in Babe, where he portrayed the kind-hearted farmer. This role earned him an Academy Award nomination, making him the tallest actor to ever receive the prestigious honor. His success in Babe paved the way for a diverse range of roles that highlighted his remarkable acting skills. Over the years, Cromwell has earned four Emmy nominations, including a win for Best Supporting Actor for his haunting performance in American Horror Story Asylum. Now in his 84, Cromwell continues to work prolifically, with over 200 credits to his name, showcasing his enduring talent and versatility in the entertainment industry. Kevin Durand, standing at an impressive 6 feet 6 inches, Kevin Durand, often confused with NBA star Kevin Durant, is a Canadian actor who carved out his own path in Hollywood. He first hit the screen in the 1999 comedy drama Mystery Alaska, where he showcased his natural athleticism as a hockey player under the direction of Jay Roach. In 2004, Durand took on the role of Booth in Walking Tall, officially joining the ranks of Hollywood's tallest stars.
Duran's career took a major leap when he landed the role of Martin Kimi on the hit show Lost. Despite the show's star-studded ensemble cast, Duran's hulking frame and menacing presence made him stand out as a formidable antagonist. His towering stature added an extra layer of intensity to the character, making him a memorable part of the lost legacy. Since then, Durand has maintained a steady career, appearing in a wide range of films and television shows. His notable roles include appearances in X-Men Origins Wolverine, Robin Hood, The Strain, and Vikings. Whether playing villains or complex characters, Duran's larger-than-life presence continues to make him a standout in the industry. Richard Keel Standing at a towering 7 feet 2 inches, Richard Keel was a gentle soul often typecast as monstrous villains in his early career. His film debut came with the title role in Ega, where he portrayed a menacing caveman who kidnaps an innocent girl named Roxy. Keel grew frustrated with always playing the monster and sought more nuanced roles. When his agent suggested he play Jaws, the villainous henchman in the James Bond series, Keel initially hesitated. But the opportunity to star in a Bond film was too good to pass up. Keel brought a unique humanity to Jaws, giving the character a depth that transcended his menacing exterior. His decision to add these human touches made Jaws one of the most memorable Bond villains of all time. This performance, paired with Keel's towering presence, earned him a reputation as one of the greatest tall actors in cinema history. I beg to differ. Happy Gilmore accomplished that feat no more than an hour ago. Keel's humor was another hallmark of his career. He got to fully showcase this side of himself in Adam Sandler's Happy Gilmore, where he played Mr. Larson, a lovable but intimidating character. Later in his career, Keel continued to work, voicing the soft-hearted thug Vlad in Disney's critically acclaimed animated film Tangled. Vince Vaughn. Standing at 6 feet 5 inches, Vince Vaughn may have dabbled in football and baseball during his high school years, but he always considered himself an average athlete. That realization made it easier for him to pursue his true passion acting. His first big break came in a Chevrolet commercial, which spurred his move to Hollywood in 1988. In 1993, Vaughn landed a small role in the heartwarming sports film Rudy, where he met John Favreau, a friendship that would prove pivotal in his career. Three years later, Vaughn and Favreau collaborated on Swingers, a film they co-wrote and starred in, which became Vaughn's breakout moment. Two years later, he landed a role in Steven Spielberg's The Lost World Jurassic Park, but it wasn't until his comedic turn in the 2003 hit Old School that he became a household name. You like it? I don't know how you could still be depressed. This is probably the best thing that's ever happened to us. Us? Yeah, us. In 2004, Vince Vaughn cemented his comedy career as the villain in Dodgeball, a true underdog story. He became part of the frat pack, known for frequent comedy roles. After briefly dating Jennifer Aniston, Vaughn married a Canadian realtor and has two children. Recently, he earned a blue belt in Brazilian jiu-jitsu, returning to his athletic roots. John Cleese Standing at an impressive 6 feet 5 inches, John Cleese's career took off while he was studying at Cambridge University in 1962. It was there that he performed in the Footlights show Cambridge Circus, where he met Graham Chapman. Together, they would go on to co-create Monty Python's Flying Circus, widely regarded as one of the most influential sketch comedy groups of all time. 
Cleese's towering height was often used to his advantage, allowing him to play high-status, authoritative characters with a knack for delivering sharp insults. Following the massive success of Monty Python, Cleese shifted his focus to create and star in Faulty Towers, a sitcom that would go down in history as one of Britain's greatest. His portrayal of the bumbling, irritable hotel owner Basil Faulty became iconic, solidifying his reputation as a comedy genius. Despite his long and storied career, Cleese remains active in the entertainment industry. He has worked in over 200 projects, spanning films, television, video games, and even Broadway. With a career that has spanned decades, Cleese continues to be a beloved figure in the world of comedy. Shaquille O'Neal Standing at an incredible 7 feet 1 inches, Shaquille O'Neal dominated the basketball court from the moment he was drafted into the NBA, leaving opposing coaches scrambling for a strategy. For Hollywood, however, Shaq's larger-than-life personality made him a perfect fit for the big screen. His acting debut came in 1994, starring alongside his Orlando Magic teammate Penny Hardaway in Blue Chips, where he played a talented young basketball player. Just two years later, Shaq took on a completely different role, starring as a 5,000-year-old genie in the musical fantasy comedy Kazam. Despite mixed reviews, the film became a memorable part of 90s pop culture. In 1997, Shaq broke new ground when he starred as Steel, becoming one of the first African Americans to portray a major comic book hero on the big screen. Beyond his acting roles, Shaquille O'Neal has appeared as himself in countless sitcoms, films, and music videos, solidifying his status as a cultural icon. Today, you can catch him as a charismatic and entertaining studio analyst on the TNT NBA show, where his humor and basketball insight continue to win over fans. Ben Affleck, standing tall at 6 feet 3 inches, first met his lifelong best friend Matt Damon, in Cambridge, M.A. when they were just 10 years old. The pair bonded over a shared passion for acting, taking classes together, before eventually making the big move to Hollywood. It was there in 1992 that they co-wrote the screenplay for Good Will Hunting, a script that would change the course of their careers. Throughout the 90s, Affleck took on smaller roles in various films, but his big break came when Miramax agreed to fund Good Will Hunting, a film that earned them the Academy Award for Best Original Screenplay. Affleck's success soared, but his career took a hit with the infamous Giggly, a critically panned movie he starred in alongside his then fiance Jennifer Lopez. This downturn was temporary, though, as Affleck made a powerful comeback with standout roles in Gone Girl and Argo, the latter film not only marked his return to the top, but also earned him an Oscar for Best Picture. In recent years, Affleck has continued to shine in the spotlight, starring in major thrillers such as Batman v Superman and The Accountant, proving that both his talent and his towering height are forces to be reckoned with in Hollywood. Liam Neeson, standing at an imposing 6 feet 4 inches, Liam Neeson was born in Northern Ireland and began his acting career in the 1970s. By the end of the 1980s, he had firmly established himself in Hollywood, 
but it was his powerful portrayal of Oscar Schindler in Steven Spielberg's Schindler's List that catapulted him into international stardom. The role earned him an Academy Award nomination, forever marking him as one of the finest actors of his generation. In 1999, Neeson took on a new challenge when he was cast as Jedi Master Qui-Gon Jinn in Star Wars, The Phantom Menace. Fans were thrilled to see such a high-caliber actor step into the Star Wars universe, further elevating his already stellar reputation. His role as the wise and noble Jedi only cemented his versatility as an actor, adding another layer to his already impressive resume. However, in 2008, Neeson's career took a thrilling turn with his unforgettable role in Taken, where he played an ex-CIA operative determined to rescue his kidnapped daughter. The film's explosive success transformed Neeson into an action star, leading to a series of adrenaline-fueled films like The Grey and The Commuter. Christopher Lee, standing at an imposing six feet six inches, Christopher Lee was a legendary English actor whose career spanned an incredible 70 years. His remarkable height, while iconic, initially posed challenges in finding roles. Directors often had to get creative, having him sit for scenes or placing other actors on apple boxes to balance the visual scale. However, Lee's towering presence became a signature trait that would eventually work in his favor. Lee's breakthrough came with The Curse of Frankenstein, where his long, menacing stride added an extra layer of terror to his portrayal of the iconic monster. His performance not only revived the character in popular culture, but also established him as a force in the horror genre. Concerned about being typecast for his height, Lee made the bold move to Hollywood in 1977, seeking greater diversity in roles. In the final chapter of his storied career, Lee enjoyed a resurgence, portraying two of the most iconic villains in modern cinema Saruman in The Lord of the Rings and Count Dooku in the Star Wars prequels. Before his passing in 2015, Lee had worked on over 250 projects, leaving an indelible mark on the industry. Tyler Perry Standing at 6 feet 5 inches, Tyler Perry's journey to success began with incredible perseverance. After saving up $12,000, he wrote, directed, produced, and starred in his first musical, I Know I've Changed, which was inspired by letters he wrote to himself about his difficult relationship with his abusive father. Unfortunately, the project barely lasted a weekend and attracted only 30 patrons. While most would have thrown in the towel, Perry refused to give up. Deter hey, AD, Tyler Perry here. Want to take you on a tour of Tyler Perry Studios, so hop in. Determined to pursue his dreams, Perry lived out of his car to save money for future projects. Can you imagine a six feet five inches man living in a Geo Metro? He quipped to Essence magazine. His resilience eventually paid off when audiences began to take notice of his stage productions, leading to the creation of his first film, Diary of a Mad Black Woman. Although critics weren't kind, the movie was a box office hit, grossing $50 million and putting Perry on Hollywood's radar. Perry quickly rose to prominence as a media mogul. Today he owns his own media company and acting school, proving that hard work and dedication can turn even the most challenging beginnings into incredible success stories. Brad Garrett Towering at 6 feet 8 inches, 
Brad Garrett first made a name for himself during the stand-up comedy boom of the 1980s. While he didn't rely on his height for material, it certainly helped him stand out and catch the attention of agents. Garrett began his television career with minor roles and guest spots, but his big break came when he was cast alongside Ray Romano in the hit sitcom Everybody Loves Raymond. Garrett's portrayal of Ray's lovable but often grumpy brother earned him widespread acclaim, leading to three primetime Emmy Awards out of six nominations. His comedic timing and imposing presence made him a fan favorite, solidifying his place in television history. Beyond acting, Garrett has pursued a side career as a professional poker player, demonstrating his versatility and competitiveness both on and off the screen. Despite his success at the poker table, Garrett continues to charm audiences with his distinctive voice and towering frame in various acting roles. Thank you for watching my video. There are many other interesting things in the next videos. Please look forward to it. Thank you and goodbye.